I definitely need to get my glow back because my skin is pissing me off. So now that I'm, oh my gosh, I just got water on everything. It smells like my childhood. This looks like jizz. Oh my goodness, I'm drinking a protein shake on camera. Y'all remember what happened last time I did this? <sighs> my little baby Harlow is three months old tomorrow. By the time you see this, she'll already be a few weeks older than that. But um, I didn't have like a single pimple throughout my entire pregnancy. I am three months postpartum and my skin basically has decided to shit all over my hopes and dreams. So today I thought we would do a little nighttime skincare routine because as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, right here on the background, you can see the shadow from my window behind the camera. So it's evening time. I wanted to get my skincare routine done. So there's a few new things that I wanted to try that I've never tried before. So. Let's go ahead and try these out. So if I say so one more time, just say it one more time. Today we're gonna be using some acne specific products and two brands that I've never tried before. Um, there is also a pimple cream I need to go grab. It's in my bedroom though and that's where Harlow is sleeping so maybe not. Let's get into it. We're gonna be using the Kate Somerville Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser. This is an acne treatment cleanser. This is uh, gentle enough um, to be used every day, but hard enough to be used on acne. I haven't used this for a while because I haven't needed to. My skin has been so good up until now. I think I'm actually like about to start my period again maybe. So we're gonna start with this and wash my face so we have a clean palette. I got my little face halo to use for this. I've been using this in the shower a lot for my skincare and when I was had eyelash extensions, this was coming in so handy to um, like wipe the stuff off my face, like any cleanser or anything because I had to kind of like, I used to just like run my face under, you know, the shower, but when you have eyelash extensions, you can't really do that. So this works super well if you have eyelash extensions and you need to like get your cleanser off your face, but you can't just like run water on it, so just the high chair. So weird doing skincare, like not over a sink, you know? So my congested areas right now, for the most part, are kind of like right here, but I got one over here too. And anytime I get pimples, um, I just am so nervous because like that one I kind of picked at yesterday, it was like a clogged pore. My skin is so fair and like so sensitive that I will have a mark there for literally years to come. So that's fun. So I'm just gonna get all this really good. And I have combo skin for the most part. Like usually it's just right in the middle. It's never really too greasy or too dry. So I guess that's kind of nice. It's so weird putting skincare on because when I was pregnant, I wasn't really wearing or doing a whole lot of skincare because I just was too busy with other stuff to like look up what I could use and what I couldn't use. Um, you know, and apparently everything that you put on your skin while you're pregnant ends up in your amniotic fluid. So I got kind of weird about it and I was like, okay, I'm not using anything. And I can tell I haven't had Botox for a while, you know what I mean? But you can see my breakouts right now, look at that. And then all of these little dots are just like discoloration that I've been trying to get rid of my entire life. So yeah, and this side too, these are not active, but in all this area is just very congested right now. I don't know like what the deal is. So hopefully this new routine will help get my skin back into shape. I also think I'm about to start my period and it's gonna be so weird having a period. I haven't had a period for like over a year now, it's insane. Next we're doing a scrub and this brand is actually uh, based in San Diego and they reached out and asked if they could send me a package and I was like, yes please, I would love that. And then I saw that they were in San Diego. I love their packaging and their whole vibe. It's all vegan, cruelty free, recycled um, and they have really cute packaging and they have like a, an array of stuff. They don't just have like facial skincare if that makes sense. They've got like 
body lotion and body wash. So this is Kopari and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but this is a California glow enzyme scrub and I definitely need to get my glow back because my skin is pissing me off. This came with like a little scooper and Lord knows what I did with it. So we're just gonna dig my finger in here. Look how cute my freaking nails are right now. Oh, look how cute they are. I'm back to wearing my Apple watch, getting back in the fitness game. Okay, so you're supposed to basically activate this by rubbing it in little circles on dry skin. It's always weird to me to put like face wash on dry skin, I don't know. But this actually has quite a bit of moisture on it. It's not like just gritty sand on my face. Feels refreshing. Smells good. I should probably be exfoliating my skin on a regular basis, but Honestly, while I was pregnant, my skin was so freaking good that I just kind of took it for granted and like didn't do much with my skincare. And now I'm paying for it. So now that I'm, oh my gosh, I just got water on everything. Now that I'm kind of getting back into like just normal things on my channel and like actually like uploading again, I need you guys to basically do my job for me and tell me what to make videos about because I feel like I have just been like, my head has just been so into taking care of the baby and making sure she's good because we've had a very fussy baby. And also, I'm basically a single mom half the time because Nick will go to work for like four days. And if you're new here, my husband is a firefighter paramedic. So he'll be gone at work for like four days on end, sometimes getting forced or whatever. And I'm here alone. So basically what I'm trying to say, um, long story longer, is that um, I feel like my creativity levels are at an all time low because there's just so much other stuff in my brain right now. So if you guys want to tell me what kind of content you want to see, I know that you guys uh, answer that in my stories sometimes, which is awesome, but let me know. Even if it's baby content, makeup content, like whatever you guys want to see, just drop it below. And like, if you're not really sure, like what kind of videos have you been watching on YouTube and gravitating towards? Cause I'm honestly kind of getting fed up with Instagram right now. Like I'm so sick of seeing reels every two seconds. And honestly, like I'm not a TikToker really. Like I'm on TikTok, but like that's not really my generation or like my thing. And I don't really want to make it my thing. So I'll do them here and there, but like, <sighs> What do y'all want to see? Because I'm kind of sick of Instagram at the moment. Well, my skin definitely looks pretty glowy. Like I'm pretty shiny. So that's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> the next three products are from a brand called in beauty project and i've never tried them they were nice enough to send this stuff to me and i absolutely love their website and their packaging so let's hope it's good stuff next i'm going to be using their lip oil it's uh in candy apple and it's just like a little lip oil my lips have been super chapped lately so i love how large this doe foot is so I even have really tiny lips, so if you have nice, big, voluptuous lips, this will be easy to apply. It smells like my childhood. Next, we're using the Retinol Remix. It's a 1% retinol treatment. Visibly improves hyperpigmentation, which is what this is over here. Wrinkles and uneven textures. This is basically everything that I need in a nutshell right now. I am no longer breastfeeding. That's a totally different story, but I feel comfortable using retinol now. I was not using it while I was pregnant, so we will be using it now. And I did want to talk to you guys about breastfeeding. So if that's something you guys want to hear about, and I, I think I need to do like an update for with Harlow because she is like three months old now. So I think it's good to do an update. I was just so wrapped up in trying to keep her happy and keep myself happy and sane that I just like, I was like, I gotta do an update, but I just, I couldn't get to it. So this packaging is so freaking cute. I love this. It firms and plumps skin, put a pea sized amount on clean, dry face and neck, avoiding eye area. Use one to two, one to two times per week at night, gradually increasing frequency every other night or as tolerated. 
Oh, the laundry's done. <laughs> Pea-sized amount. Okay. So sometimes I'll do like a mosaic on my face if my different areas on my face need different things, but this is kind of, I need this all over right now. And later, I think I will put my pimple paste on here. It's supposed to dry pimples out. It's from the same brand. I'll link you guys to it below and actually works really well. So I'll link you to that. But for now, we'll just do this. This next product is called Slushy. It is a serum moisturizer. It gives you dewy, smooth, clear skin. So I, they've got like they've got like really cute little icons in the front that like super easily tell you what it does, which I absolutely love because I hate when I have skincare and I feel like I have to keep the box because I don't know how to use it or it doesn't say on the actual packaging. So if you can see these little guys, it tells you exactly what it is right on the packaging so that you don't have to be I, I notice I have skincare that I don't use because it doesn't say on the packaging what it does and it drives me nuts. Just happy that this says, I also really like this like applicator. Wow, the, the shadows are really getting serious in here. This looks like jizz. It seriously does, guys. <laughs> it doesn't smell like it though, so. Does jizz even smell? I don't think it does. I'm gonna put this on the backs of my hands as well. I tried to get rid of the light situation. <laughs> Next, um, we only have a couple things left. I'm gonna be using the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. I was using this prior to being pregnant and I'm going to be using it again because anything retinol, give it to me. I pat this around this whole, I think it's called the orbital bone, if I'm not mistaken. I gently rub or pat this all around that area and then I'll do it up here too. And with whatever's left over my finger, I always put it here or here. So I went into the room while Harlow was sleeping. I grabbed the pimple paste because I'm gonna put it on a couple of these. Even though they're not like big and juicy, we're gonna do it anyway. This um, is the pimple paste. I love the packaging, this is so cute. It says overnight drying paste that fades the look of dark spots. So that's good. So I can use it probably on this guy again. I slept with it on this one last night and it was pretty much gone when I woke up. Um, so let's go ahead and put this on. My friend Brian FaceTimed me this morning and I had this on my face from the night before, from last night and I totally forgot that it was on there. <laughs> this does kind of flake off like those old green masks that you used to wear that burned your skin when you were in middle school. If you're my age, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We all had it and we all used it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on there, I don't know. And then this guy right here too. Let's see if we can fade that. But so what I'm saying is don't put it on like too thick and just be careful with it because it will kind of like flake off on your pillow and in your bed, which is not very comfortable. There you have it. There is my um, current nighttime skin routine. I'm gonna continue this skin routine for the next few weeks and see how my skin reacts. But we've got to get a handle on my hormones and my pimples. I did just pop another one of my placenta pills. I did have my placenta encapsulated and I've only had it one other time. I keep forgetting I have it. So I don't know if that will help balance out my hormones. I'm not a doctor. I don't know, but I'm just like swallowing that and like wishing for the best. So I'm curious what skincare brands you guys are loving right now. It seems like there are so many nowadays. Like it is just like there, you don't know where to go because there's just so many different skincare lines. Like I swear, just looking through Instagram, a new one pops up like every single day. So if you know of any TikTok skincare hacks or skincare, I should say skincare brands, not hacks, well, shit, I could also use some hacks too. I mean, look at my breakouts. <laughs> so if you wanna leave me um, some info below on any new skincare brands you want me to try out or recommend that you're loving or products specifically, let me know in the comments below because I need all the recommendations I can get. Thanks so much, guys. And don't forget to leave your video ideas below and let me know what you've been loving on YouTube lately. And we will see you next time. Bye.